Welcome to Infra SOS YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Active Directory group policy reports with the help of PowerShell. Now for this particular task, you need to make sure that you have installed RSAT tools on your machine. Now after that, simply open up a PowerShell as an administrator and then to generate GPO reports, we are going to use the command net which is actually get hyphen GPO reports followed up by the hyphen name flag and then you're going to type in the name of the GPO in my case if I open up the group policy management so you can see that I have a GPO named as default domain controllers policy so I'm going to use this one after that you need to specify the report type so we are going to use the flag report type and then I'm going to set the report type equal to HTML after that we also want to specify the path where we want to store our report so I'm going to specify it at C inside the temp folder and I'm going to name my report as sample report.html and now if I simply press enter my report would be generated so if I open up a file explorer head inside the C directory head inside the temp folder you can see that I have my HTML file right over here so if I open it up so this is my group policy report in HTML format now if you want to generate the HTML report for all GPOs then use the same command but instead of the name simply use the all flag and this time around we're going to save this report as sample report 2 and then hit enter open up the folder and this time view the sample report 2 and you can see that in this particular report we have the report for all of the gpos connected to our active directory now if you want to get the report in the xml format then simply use the previous command but instead of typing html as the report type simply type xml but once you do that you also need to make sure that when you're providing the path the name of the file should end with the extension of xml after that simply hit enter and you would get the report in the desired folder. So open up the folder so you can see we have sample report 3 and the extension is xml document. So if I open up this report it is going to open up in my browser since it is an xml file. So this is our GPO report. Now additionally you would also want to check out infra SOS. Because with infra SOS you can create active directory and office 365 reports using our SAS active directory reporting and auditing tool. So the link for infra SOS website is in the description box as well. And additionally, if you want to learn more about GPO reporting with a get GPO report commandlet, then simply check out the blog linked in the description box. Now, if you have learned anything new with this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.